Welcome Raiders to another Raid Shadow Legends video and in this one I'm going to be showing you my prep but also I would advise other players other Raiders at the time doesn't matter if you're early early you probably wouldn't be able to do much uh, what I'm about to show but if you're mid late or end game doesn't matter all this stuff is very important right if you're progressing towards the new hard mode dungeon bosses we're going to be getting into the game um so the first thing i'm going to talk about is resources so we all know this is a you know it's a gotcha game um and it's heavily <laughs> heavily uh dependent on your silver your books and your gems now energy is always free right your tokens are free your energy is free they always come back to you um shards don't really come back to you but honestly if you progress the game and save them unless you're pulling during two x's which you probably should if you're mid game um but most of the time you're probably just going to be going cray um during two x's probably shouldn't be pushing on 10 x's right so the point of this is well what do i focus on like um you know if you're end game then you're going to be focusing of course on the end game whatever's left over hydra sand devil Maybe, maybe your Iron Twins is full out already because you're using some form of Geo Comp or some other comp. But I wanted to talk about the specific things you need to look for, especially since this is a gear game. Let's look at the first thing, which I've already started doing on my main account already. I have been basically selling. I go to Filter. I go to 5 Star. And I pretty much sell every blue. I only found two blues. Okay, that are still five star that I haven't sold only because of the two artifact sets they're in. But honestly, I'm one of them wants I want to let go as well. But I've been make I've been making sure to do that. Now, when it comes to the epics and legendaries, it's a little bit more harder. But as you can see, I only have 132. That's still me, right? As a player, I still want to let that. I want to cut that by half. You should be fo following suit as well. Now, when it comes to like five star mythical that's different you know we all know you can get five stars from hydra and not everybody's gonna get the best you know stone skin slash protection gear so it's very important that you still keep your five star versions of those um now when it comes to six star i've been trying to make sure um to start letting go of my rares as well just like my um five star rares you know, I only had two I'm trying to drop this down to like 20 or 30. Now you might be like, why? Well, think about it. If we're going to be farming hard mode dungeons, or maybe let's say you're not on hard mode yet, but you're starting to push 20 to 25, right? Which is basically late game. Well, if you're doing that, you know, you can always just get to 25 and that's it. You don't have to farm 25. Unless 25 is taking you like 12 to 17 minutes, to do a run, you probably should be farming the gear there. You still need better gear. But if you if it takes you about like seven or less minutes to beat one stage on 25 Dragon or 25 Fire Knight, don't waste your energy there. Just move straight to the Awakened hard mode. Now, it's going to be harder. It's going to be more insane. But if you use the right strategies we've always talked about, right? ASDD champions, revivers, resist, buffs. If you bring the right thing... Yes, it's, you're not going to do as much damage to them because you don't have awakened champions because they're not blessed, but it doesn't matter. You'll still be able to beat it. Then, we have to do is find the best stage for you, right? The best stage could be, let's say, stage 5 or maybe stage 7 of hard mode dungeon boss. Then you farm that. You don't have to waste your time farming 21 to 25. You just farm that. If that takes you even 30 minutes... That gear is going to be way better than this anyways. And think about it. If you're wasting your energy on Sand Devil and Iron Twins, right? Which are both costly in energy. Don't you want your oils or your blessings to be on the right gear? Not gear that's lower value. Most plat players and people who are endgame right now might have to use certain rares or epics to get them the stats they want now. But you being the mid, late, or even end game player who doesn't want to keep farming, I don't even farm that much dragon anymore. Or even ice gold. I just do a little bit of fire knife from time to time, or maybe during a 2x speed, you know, like what's going on right now in dragon. All 
I'll be right back. All right, it was dodged. <laughs> if you don't know, that's an inside joke from the stream. Um, well, it's not really a joke, but I guess it's a... We've got to be thankful we're still alive. All right, so over here um, in Dragon, like, yeah, there's a 2x right now. I haven't even touched Dragon. Like, maybe it did, like, maybe 10 runs, 15 runs. I'm pretty much like, okay, I'm going to get tons, tons of oil. Now that there's new gear, I got to test out all that. So I need tons of lessers. So I can test out all this legendary and mythical gear that I can farm now from the hard dungeons. So start stacking up on these lessers and the graders. Now, if you're super, super cracking, super plat player, clearly you're going to be going for all three of them, right? But even, for me personally, I think I would say 90% of the player base, not even 99, I would say 90 because you know, people are starting to finally get to that point, right, where the people are pushing even if they're not like super end game people or even late game or even like newly uh, end game are starting to actually push even as free to play players and plant and other stuff like that um, and TTA and stuff like that. So yeah, that's one of the things, right? So let me show you this. I created this thing right here right gear priorities for new hard mode dungeons right where you talked about how to counter hydra we talked about the stats you need for hydra but now you need to, if you want to be able to do those things or hard mode dungeons well these things keeping in mind are going to help you as well so number one is going to be hoard your chaos or okay unless reasons why does it say that there well Unless you're really like four or five head of a player, you've been playing the game a long time, you're probably not going to chaos or something that's really needs to be. Now, if you're feeling crazy and like gambling, and you want to do some, okay, fine. But that stuff is not easy for most players to come across anyway. So why are you wasting it? Save it for the really insane, good legendary gear and mythical gear that we can start farming now. Think about that. Now, you might be like, well, I can't, chaos or a mythical piece because i would need a mythical or true that's true but i still think it's most important to keep those chaos ores for forge gear from the forge pass or just perception gear maybe you're having trouble you know having the right accuracy chess piece with the artifact asc ascended it you know getting the right speed stuff stats whatever it may be right but i'm just telling you for me personally i'm not really doing it that much maybe on a speed piece Right, I might be like, whoa, that triple or quad, I might get triple, triple quad speed. But that's a risk I take as a player. But I'm telling most people, be careful. So I would hoard from now, if you've been going crazy, try to save them, okay? Two, KIM, also known as Kim. Keep in mind, right? How much silver you're going to need to re-gear, right? Unless Playroom gives us like 100% gear cost reduction when the new Dungeons comes out, which... Hopefully they do, but you know then they might just do 50%. <laughs> Thanks, player. But, um, yeah, so just silver is so important in the game. So if you're using a lot of your silver during artifact enhancement, during CVC, try to keep yourself just enough so you're ready for the next fusion, next ready for the next patch, or whatever content they're releasing. Trust me, because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. Um, selling all five-star gear, we talked about that, except for Lego Myth. Plan ahead in terms of which champion needs uh, your best gear for the future raid. So what does that mean? Okay, so let's say I have a Warlord, right? Or I have like a Vlad. He just got ba he got buffed. But my Vlad, I haven't been able to re-gear him. Well, mainly because of Silver and I, I do other stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to rebuild my Vlad. Like I just, I had him in, I had him a specific way. Then I had to put him this way, and he's been like that since. They buffed him. He's pretty nutty, but I can't use him in Savage. I want to, but what if I want to put him in Savage or Perception? I can't. One, because of I don't know which gear, particularly yet, that I have Artifact Ascended everything yet. Um, and two, because I don't, I don't have the silver, so I'm like, mm, plus, you know, like I'm still debating on what to do, but... The whole point of that is just planning ahead. I know what champions to plan ahead. I've already written it down. If you don't believe me, give me a sec. I'll show you the plat push I have written down. Top arena champs for pushing plat. My picks. These are champs on you know my account that I have and champions I don't have. And it even says, look how much silver I would actually need. 250 million. If I really wanted to rebuild all these champions or build them out. Right in the specific way that I want, and doing chaos soaring and glyphing, because glyphs cost silver as well. Which why Plarium? 
or reduce it, please. Can we get like a 50% on that too? Jesus. But uh <laughs> but then there's also champions that I don't have or I do. The ones in quotations I do, the ones that are just not in quotations and parentheses are ones I don't have. So like stuff like well actually I have Kaimar now. I can actually remove that now. I actually have a Kaimar. I pulled him on <laughs> I pulled him off stream at my job like three days ago, my first Kaimar. But um yeah, I don't have a Siffy, I don't have a Lady Kimmy, which I thought of pulling my ancients. Actually, now as we speak, I thought about doing it because there is a 10x for Kimmy. I pulled one void. I got myself the 10x epic, which is uh, Golden Reaper. I already have one, and I pull. And I was thinking, I was trying to get to Hunter Rock, um, and I was also trying to see if I could get myself a Neckmorth art. Any of these champ, any of these three are insane. Okay, any of them, <laughs> just nuts. Solo champion, uh, Hydra slash Lizardman, like Doom Tower Lizard. And then, can, do we have to talk about Lady Kimmy? Do we have to talk about how insane she is? Everywhere in the game, she's insane. Okay. The, uh, probably Alname is probably one. But honestly, I could probably fit her into a team. I honestly could. You know what? I'm just going to pull one live right now. I just, oh, because I want to, I want to Kimmy so bad, man. And of course, I get, I get another epic, but it's, yeah, it's a fine. It's fine. It's not one of the, it's not one of the 10Xs. So unfortunately, I got a 10X void, but not a 10X, um, Make this 20x. Can we get just 20x over here? Even if you're going to keep these 10x's on the Legos, can we have a 20x on these? I just pulled an Epic and didn't get one. Come on. I would have liked to... I mean, I, I already have a Lady Annabelle and, uh, and um, Claude Breastfeeder. But I don't have myself a... I think... Do I have a Targar? I might have one, actually. I lied. I might actually have one of those champions. Yeah, let, let me see right now. Just curious. I know it's kind of a little deviation, but I just wanted to, I'm curious myself. No, I don't have a Targar. Yeah, I actually have a um, the other one. Well, Trumbar was actually part of the fusion, mm, so I probably don't have any of them. I probably ate them already. Dang, Sag. Uh, okay, um, so let's get back to what we were talking about over here. So, yes, plan ahead, right? Make sure you're planning ahead in terms of what you're doing in raid. Now, the next one is save your oils. I already explained that, why you should save your oils. But, if unless reasons, unless you're have a specific piece you're like this needs to be oiled and i need to see what it's going to be then fine right but as other con uh, you know content creators or other people have said a piece can go from being a great piece and you oil it it cannot be as great and it could just be okay so be careful with that um that's what i'm saying so now we're going to talk about actual um stages for the new dungeons oh this is just 10 st okay the 10 stages right uh, there's going to be 10 new stages for uh, the hard mode dungeons. I'm actually going to go and show you real quick each one. So let's talk. Let's talk about. We'll talk about. Want to talk about classes first? All right. So for classes, people were asking me, how am I going to win? I looked at his passive, blah, blah, blah. Already broke it down for you. Of course, you got to bring AoE burns. Come on. Right. That's simple. Um, you're going to want to bring AoE decreased defense and weaken because if the enemies. Right, the Clysis minions and Clysis himself, which is the Ice Golem, if you didn't know that's his name, um, they're going to get their decreased max HP every time they receive a burn. Which you might be wondering, why is that happening? Well, Plarum realized, well, the original golems, right, um, you have to block revive them, so it makes the game easier. But a lot of people can't do that, especially on full auto. This is before we had team presets, right? People just had to, you had to literally four, like 4.5, 5 head the game. You had to make sure champions were using their A3 on turn on round one, and then they had to use their AoE eight if they even had an AoE A2 on round two and one shot. You had to have multiple decreased defense champ. It was just nutty. It's just too much. You know, people can't do that. That's why people are using poisons, HP burns, and, and enemy max HP or seer comps with revivers, blah blah blah. Solo champions now, especially now with the 20s to 21 to 25s, right? But now with the new 10 dungeons, right, what are we going to be doing? Well, we still need decreased defense and weaken because you might be like, wait, 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 that's, that's going to make Klyce smack. We don't want that. Huh? But he smacks and does damage based on how many champions, uh, minions are alive. We're going to bring Black Block Revive. Block Revive was already good before. It's going to be even better now, but we have to bring AoE HP Burn. You can make your champion that Block Revives kind of stack it up. You know, put your debuffs, make them use it like, uh, make them prioritize like their A2, and then make them use their A3 like the Zavias, the Foley's, your Phoenix. Make sure they're using other skills on the on the beginning of the round, and then later on they can start using their other block revive skills, whoever you have, your Lydia's, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, but if you didn't have Lydia, you have to bring like um, you have to bring like a Kaimar or or a Yumiko to re reset her her abilities, right? Because her passive technically has a long cooldown, even fully booked. Um, so yeah, that's 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 something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be showing. I know it's going to be hard because people are going to be like, "Damn, man, the the amount of damage you're going to need to have on that Black Revive champion." True. True. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe there might be some other strategies because we won't be able to poison. Um, I I know some people are probably going to be using enemy max. They'll probably use enemy max HP and then probably coincide that with a Lydia to block revive that instance. And then maybe you you know you bring a reset champion like a I don't know Renegade or maybe a Kaimo or Yumiko to reset the Lydia so she can block revive again. We'll see. Okay, I'm just giving you heads up because I've been playing this game long enough. I already kind of see what's going to happen. Um, let's look at Tainted Hellraiser. All right, that's going to be Dragon. That's the dragon's name. Um, now it's a lot harder. Now it's a lot harder, right? Because there's more poisons. There's there's the proking of exploding poisons basically on you, and um, just annoying, right? Just annoying. But honestly, everything that works against Dragon will still be able to be used. You can still bring AOE cleansers, just like people bring for dragon. You can still have resist, just like you can for dragon. You can't resist a stun. Doesn't matter. You can still AOE block debuffs buff it, though. So, like, the same stuff that people bring before, you can still bring, right? Now, you might be like, well, I can't, um, what if I can't use poisons or, or I, I can still, you can still bring enemy max HP, right? You can still do it, and it's still going to cap out at 10%, Right? Now you might be you might think like, well, what if my my um cold hearts or my my champions are not blessed? Well, this is why I was, you know, I'm gonna talk about this in another video of where people should be focusing their energy right now, like literally as we speak. Um that's why at the beginning of this video I was telling you I'm not even doing dragon right now or even farming gear. Like I farm gear if I need to. But I don't honestly I don't even farm dungeons anymore. I just do it because of tournaments and, and events because of fusions, but I don't even farm it. I'm just trying to cleanse out as much gear as I can. I'll I'd rather get more forge gear. I'd rather get more, you know, forge pass gear, whatever, you know, in my opinion, you know, because the gear that's gonna come out that's gonna be way better is gonna replace it anyway. So why am I wasting the energy? So I've been spending a lot of energy on Sand Devil and Iron Twins, like crazy, especially 15. Um, all right, so for the when it comes to the Hellraiser, that's all I can tell you for right now. I know people are gonna still use Seer Comps, they're probably gonna use uh, enemy max HP multiple champions. Um, you know, probably Armager will still be usable depending on the affinity. I noticed that most of the bosses seem like they're void. So that's going to be pretty good if they're voids because you can use any affinity. Um, but at the same time, it's like, dang, you, you don't get that affinity advantage anymore. So you can't build your champions with 85% crit and then also get a 30% extra boost of damage. That's the only part that's kind of like Sag, but, um, all right. So with a tainted spider queen, right? Um, this one's going to be very interesting because you can still technically use burns, but, uh, I think people are going to start using this, the same way that people used to like do tons of like 10 second, like enemy max HP, uh, spider 20, where people just would bring like tons of Royal guards, you know, tons of cold hearts da, 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 and then spider would just be dead. You wouldn't even, you know, you wouldn't even build tanks or shields or ally protection or none of that. No UDKs. You would just blow her up. I think literally people are going to do that again. Spider's going to probably be one of the easiest bosses unless unless those spider queens uh, spider lings have like more stats which I don't think they are so they're going to die you know especially cuz people the game the whole point of the uh, of the tainted dungeons is to use champions who have blessings do you know how easy it is to get a uh, I mean not super easy but if you check you can eventually find yourself a royal guard you're going to find yourself a husk you're going to find yourself your seer here. Trust me, it's six compared to just your normal four for Legos and the four here. You actually, they want you to get more. That's why they open it up to six for epics. So you always got to keep in, you know, you always got to be looking though. You always got to be shopping and shopping for blessings always. So strong AOE hits doesn't have to be enemy max HP champions. Could be strong champions like Trunda. Could be like a big gun, you know, nukers, huge AoE nukers, even a Baron. Um, but of course, we're going to still need to bring AoE decrease defense and weaken and um, enemy max HP if we can as well. Um, burns as well, but we'll see how, how maybe there could be like a burn slash enemy max HP comp 
that people are going to like unique things, which I think that's going to be really cool. Um, now, Tainted F- Fyro, because I swear his name was Pyro in, in you know, Fire Knight. Um, I swear that's what his name was. Yeah, well, apparently, no, I'm wrong. It's always been Fyro. Okay, so I- I'm just, I'm just. I swear it was always fire. Um, who knows? Maybe it's a man, a weird effect or something to butter. Who, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm just another J from another timeline. But anyways, um, how do we beat this insane boss that has 21 shields? You know, that you have to break through. He, you can't reduce his turn meter. You cannot use decreased speed, right? I think that's what I saw. Or maybe you can still use decreased speed. You just cannot use... No, you can't use enemy max... Uh, I mean, sorry, you can't use um, decrease 100% decreased turn meter or stuff like that. Um, so let's just say you can't use decreased speed, right? And let's say you can't use decreased turn meter. You can't use your evil eyes. You cannot use your 100% decreased turn meter or even 50% because of the almighty passive that all Doom Tower and hard uh, um, the new bosses have, including like you know Al Nami and other. You know, basically, it just reduces all turn meter by 50%, right? Which is annoying. But how do we beat this boss, right? So I thought, okay, we could have multiple freeze. That's the only way to decrease turn meter. But they they removed Pixniel's, you know, quintuple hit. She could have been insane in against the Tainted Fyro. Because she has five on her A3. But now she's an AoE champion. Now even the freeze champion Pixneal doesn't have a place in the game. And she has a, actually has a chance to land freeze every single hit on that quintuple hip. So she could have actually just like been the allure, you know, not like A1, but you could have just nuked a ton of turn meter. You can no longer do that with Pixneal, unfortunately. Sag. But you can still use her for the freeze part, but that's kind of weird because it's kind of a big cooldown unless they reduce it by one turn, one more turn. Then I think maybe maybe but even then she's kind of meh right um so i thought what other what other champions could be used well of course your carl if you already if you already pulled one and you can get a free one from the clan rewards there you go two your carls is nuts here um tons of freeze champions uh shiramani's multiple people who have multiple hits preferably multiple hits with freeze on it um i thought of things that people weren't even talking about reflex damage buff that's five right there Counter attack right counter attack buff. That's five right there. Right? And that's not even including whatever my counter attack champion that has the buff. How many auto you know on their on their defense skill, how many times they single target hit. So what if I bring like a Nethril with a triple hit, bring reflex damage buff with my sneak track, and then also bring a Valkyrie who has a double hit on her A uh, her A1 and brings the counter attack buff. Now I have Valkyrie with the two hits right there, the Nethril with the three, that's five. The reflex damage is five. That's already ten without even me hitting the boss, right? If I hit the boss with all my champions, so that's three, five, six, seven, eight. We're looking at 12 normally, right? 12 because counter attack and then my turn. That's about almost 29 to 30 hits. So it's doable. It's just annoying that there's not that many counterattack AoE champions, right? There should be more. Um, I thought of also, what if you were to add an ally attack champion, like a Lannicus that also boosts your, um, increases the duration of your buffs, right? Your reflex damage, your counterattack buff, your ally, well, you'd get turn meter. Um, but the whole point is now you have five from the ally attack well actually it's more because we're not even counting the how many a1s the champions but five from there five from the reflex damage and five from the counter attack that's 15 minimally minimally without the actual attacks of the account without the champions actually taking their turns without any other things that are happening on people's passives that's just boom okay now what else multi-hitters we already talked about that right on their a1s Free skills, fast relentless gear, champions who have relentless so they can just keep getting multiple hits, like a ninja in relentless, but probably ninja's probably gonna get one shot because he's kind of squishy. But we'll see, right? Unless he has really strong blessings, he'll take less damage, right? Miracle heal blessing, because if you're actually getting decreased enemy max HP by the boss, 
you want to use Miracle Heal or some... Because Marishka is the only one in the game who can actually heal, destroy enemy max HP, which I think is unfair. I think they should make other Void champions in the game this heal um, destroyed enemy max HP as well. Maybe not as much as her, but they should heal a little bit. Come on. That's the only champion that can do that in the game. We have to use a blessing that's RNG. Come on. But anyways, um, decrease enemy max HP gear. We want to want to decrease the fire knights max hp i know we can only do up to 50 percent, but man that's still really good because then he doesn't cap out and fully heal himself if we get him to 50 and you're having trouble all you gotta do is do 50 percent of the damage of the boss's health before he actually you know he I mean, if he does heal well he's not going to cap out in the healing that's the most important part which i've noticed that decreased enemy max hp helps on certain bosses sand devil this new tainted pyro uh pyro and some doom tower bosses as well um like scarab king and then hard hitting abilities right we want very very strong ignore defense um we're gonna want like um you know just very strong like enemy max hp champion you know things that just smack very strong single target that probably has insane multipliers have in uh, ignore defense blah 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 if those champions still align with everything else right um so yeah, that's 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 my guide in terms of what you should be focusing on into your gear priorities and your your account, and then also what to prepare of what champions to look for and buffs and stuff like that for each, um, each you know boss hard mode uh, bosses that are coming out to the game. So yeah, let me know what you think about this video. What you guys what are you guys gonna be building? I mean, I have a lot of all these champions already because I build a lot of champs. Um, so I will show it when those bosses come out. I will try to progress them as much as possible. The next videos I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing, um, Iron Twins guide. And after that, I'll be doing Sand Devils. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye Raiders.